expect to, to see on it and uh, features you might uh, might want to uh, use so right now is our, our main uh, map screen that that we're in here right now and uh, I've had a bit to a uh, bit of time to play with it got got familiar with some of the new features that they have on the unit uh, the basics are still here from uh, Integra people the menu is very similar to the same on what you can expect here. Uh, the, the nice feature about it is probably being able to split screen like this. So we're, we're monitoring seed monitoring right here on this half on uh, pretty much what was down here is now in a graph form here for you to visually look at. And our seed monitoring uh, on if it's over or beyond uh, the 100% population or under the 100% population is what we're seeing right now. We can also go ahead and I'm applying some uh, a blend of uh, products here also. Our map and our potash uh, AMS and uh, we can see how that looks here right now also. We've got our different varieties if you want to watch that. do any liquid here with this now. And you can scroll over like that too. Uh, I got a camera in the back here uh, so that if you want to, uh, I use it for if I get into a muddy situation to see if my uh, closing wheels uh, pack full of mud or not. It's kind of hard to see right now, kind of sunny. It's nice to being able to split screen this like this. Same with, uh, I run an ISOBUS uh, PDC that monitors my dry fertilizer, and I'm able to watch that at the same time as this over here, which is very useful for me. I, I complained about it last year, and uh, they come through and found a way to work around with what I wanted to do. Okay, we can look at our nutrients that we're putting down, productivity and the products that we've been using here so far and what's been uh, put down uh, so far. And that's the screen uh, of the entire map boundary that we have here. I had some issues right down here. We can see uh, with uh, the, the seed started to bridge up in the boxes and uh, I tried to get it out and Well, we got it working better now. Our downforce is still here. We monitor our gauge wheels, uh, the load that is on them as, as we're speaking, or the downforce pressure that's being applied to the to the couple channels that we're running here right now as well. We can look at this closer, zoom in, in if we want. And I like I like to be able to tell what direction I was heading on uh, on my passes. When it comes back, time to uh, check check different situations. Uh, maybe uh, I I didn't have my uh, lead on and lead off time set right. So it's nice to know <clears throat> what was taking place then when I when I did that. You can run just like this if you want. If you don't want to watch all that stuff, this is a very nice view to, view to be watching. It's not cluttered in any way. I guess I normally run with uh, it like that, normally. And I will tell you what, uh, I'm doing some test strips is what, what I'm doing here uh, to see if we have uh, a gain when I come back and yield map this so I can compare what's what's been going on and, and hopefully it makes a difference I guess you can see our products here still are running on the bottom for granular dry and if we were running liquid we would see uh, more pressure here Uh, in a nutshell, 
uh, planning soybeans with the new in command 12 iron display and what can you can expect all right thank you for watching also if you like you can check me out on facebook h and h precision egg